I'm proud of all of this work. There are so many packages, um, but I think I'm gonna sit in the middle right here and just have all these packages around me like this. It kind of looks like a little castle. So I've been looking for somewhere to put my screen print transfers and I found this modular mobile panel tower on Michael's website. I think it was like 64, 65 bucks. So I got this, I'm gonna put it together and then I'm just gonna store my screen print transfers in these little slots right here. My plan is to like get rid of all the stuff that's on top of here and possibly put it right here. Um, I know it has wheels on it. <laughs> My cat's chewing on the box. It has wheels on it, so I probably just won't put the wheels on and it'll be like a shelf that I put right here. So right now I'm keeping my screen print transfers in these boxes, which is like totally not efficient at all. So I have like these boxes filled with screen print transfers. These are ones I just ordered because I started selling them. And then I also have this box from Transfer Express where I have some of my other custom screen print transfers. And there's literally just like so many designs in here. It's so random. I don't, I literally don't even know what's happening in here. So I'm trying to organize it. And because since I'm starting to sell them, I was like, I need to get way more organized than whatever the heck this is in this box right here. So that's the goal. So one of the most frequently asked questions that I get is where the heck do you get screen print transfers, custom ones? So I order custom transfers through Supercolor. This is from them. These are just the entrepreneur ones. They're clear with white writing. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, anyways, let's see. I ordered 10 of them. Doesn't say what size they are. I'm assuming like a 12 by 12, but this is a gang sheet, which means that I have multiple designs printed on one sheet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six different entrepreneur, like, um, whatever, transfers in total. So I just cut these apart and use them. So these are from Supercolor. There's also another option, which none of the transfers from Transfer Express are actually in this box. I'm just using the box to store them. But um, Transfer Express also has different custom transfers that you can look into. These are my top two favorite ones to order um, my custom transfers through. And then recently I just added some more transfers on my site for wholesale. So like for example, I designed this and I'm selling this on my website now, Mockups by Meg. I created basically a website that people can buy transfers, digital downloads, whatever, whatnot to help with their t-shirt business. So I designed these and had these printed. So full disclosure, it took me literally like, I don't even know how long, months and months to find somebody who could print me transfers wholesale. So I literally order like 200, 300 of these at a time, example. I have these as well, support your local planet that I made. And so basically I order these in wholesale and I put so much time and effort into finding a place that does this for me that I don't feel comfortable sharing where this place is. Um, I hope you guys understand that and that I gave you other resources as well and I'm sure you'd be able to find out where you can buy wholesale transfers. But again, I do purchase them like 300 a piece. And whatnot so I hope you guys understand I'm not trying to gatekeep I'm trying to be as open as possible and let you guys know so if you're looking to try custom transfers I would definitely recommend Supercolor or Transfer Express finally finished it after screwing it in the wrong side but I just left it you can see the holes right here but I'm too lazy to take it apart and put it back together 
There's these shelves you can slide in and out. There's little slots that you can put them anywhere within this compartment. I kind of wanted them right here so it looks like about even. I might have to invest in more of these just so I can put them in all of these slots and store more transfers, but I'll have to see if I can buy them individually. This is my little organizer after I put all my screen print transfers in there. I have my little envelopes that I put them in just here to make packaging a little bit easier. And then all of my screen print transfers that I have are organized here. I did sell a lot of them already, so my shelves are already like getting unstocked. But this is what I have left. I just printed all my labels that I need. These are a lot of screen print orders. I think there's a few shirts in here too, but majority of screen print transfers. All right, let's start with packaging this order. They got so many. They got the Flower Market screen print transfer, 10 of those. Support Your Local Planet, 10 of those. A Produce screen print transfer, 10 of those. And then the Please Be Kind screen print transfer, 10 of those as well. I'm gonna start out by grabbing 10 of the Flower Market Farm Fresh screen print transfers. All right, so I got the Farm Fresh Flower screen print transfers. Next, I'm gonna move on to getting 10 of the Support Your Local Planet screen print transfers, which I have those ones right here on the bottom, it looks like, so I'm gonna get 10 of those. Perfect for Earth Day that's coming up. So here's what these ones look like. They're so cute, they're about 12 by 12, so they're pretty big. And then after that, we have the Proto Screen Print Transfer, which is literally one of my favorites. It is so cute. Um, I don't know how well they're selling. I mean, um, I don't think they're selling as well as the other screen prints, but these are one of my favorites. So 10 of these. 10. So I just designed these on Canva and had them printed. How stinking cute is that? So I'm envisioning these on like a tote bag. Um, is what I have for my mock-up. These could definitely go on a shirt too, but like how cute would this be on a little farmer's market tote bag? Adorable. I'm really loving these ones. And then we have the Please Be Kind screen print transfer, 10 of those, which I have. I'm not oriented to this yet. I just, oh, where are those? Oh, they're right here. Okay. Um, so we have 10 of those too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these transfers, they just say, please be kind to others. They have cute little flower pattern on them. I don't know if you can see them that well because the ink is white. Um, but there is a picture, like a mock-up on my website that you can look at in more detail. Super cute as well. So now we have 10 of each of those. So now we can package them. I'm just going to show you guys up close what these look like. So this is green, like forest green ink. It kind of looks black on here, but it is a dark green. This one, so cute. This is the first one that I designed. And then of course, here's my favorite one. And then the Be Kind. I'll show you guys how I package these. So it's really important that they don't get wet and they also stay in kind of like room temperature. So I just like to double, triple pack them almost so that they stay pretty safe. So I'm just gonna get the biggest ones that I have and I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Actually, I think these might be the biggest one. Okay, and then I have these little plastic bags that I usually use for my t-shirts, but they work really well for this. So I think these are the ones that are hardest to fit, so I'm gonna put those in here like this. And I think these are the second biggest. I'm just gonna place these on top of here like so. And then these ones on there. Hopefully these will fit. If not, I might have to use two of those little bags, but we'll see what we can do here. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Okay, change of plan. I don't really know what's happening here. 
and separately place them in. So there's the support your local planet. Ah, uh, these were the issue. They're a little big too, so let's see if we can get those in here. Not. Oh, look at that. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Okay. And then the flower market one. These are a little smaller, so they should fit. Perfect. And then this has a little lip on the end that I just fold over like so. Grab a sticker. Oh, just kidding. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm actually going to grab the packing slip that says everything they have in their order right here. And I'm going to place that in the back of this bag just so everything's contained. And then I grab my sticker and place that there just like so, so that it's all wrapped up perfectly like that. And then for heat transfer, um, screen print transfers, I also have these instructions that I made. So it says the instructions and then additional tips because sometimes they can get kind of wonky. So I just added some additional tips down there. Um, and then my store website, of course. So I actually printed these on my Rolo printer. I designed them on Canva and I printed them out on my labels so that they're sticky on the back like this. And then I just put them on the very front of that so that way that customers can save this and it's stuck on there so they won't lose it. So now that I have that all finished, I'm going to grab one of my little brown legal document holder things, envelopes, and slide this in here. Like I said, the screen print transfers are supposed to be really protected, so slide that baby in there. And then I know a lot of people ship out things just in these envelopes, but I am really cautious about these getting wet. So to add a little bit of extra protection, I grab one of these poly mailers and I just slide that in there. triple protected in the bag and the envelope and then in the poly mailer. I grab my shipping label I print it out stick that on the front and then I have these do not bend handle care stickers that I put on the front as well because the screen print transfers are I wouldn't say fragile but you aren't supposed to bend them and I know they're pretty safe and secure in here but just in case I put that sticker on there and then I have these thank you for so supporting my small business stickers little mini ones I'll just put on there too. So this is the final product of what the package cream print transfer looks like. Let's also pack this order for Sierra. So she got the entrepreneur screen print transfer and then the angel number screen print transfer. I want to package this one because you guys haven't seen these transfers yet and they are the top sellers. Sierra got five of the angel screen print transfers, angel number one. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll show you guys up close. It's kind of difficult to read because it is backwards, but here they are. These are 12 by 12 as well. And then I have my entrepreneur screen print transfers just here because I don't have enough room for them. So she got five of these. One, two, three, four, five. These are definitely the best sellers. They look so cute on a shirt just right in the front. Um, I don't know if you could see the white ink, but it does say entrepreneur trust the process. All right, let's get to packaging these for Miss Sierra. So we have the five entrepreneur trust the process screen print transfers and then five of these angel number transfers. Again, you can see these on my website on an actual mock-up where you can read what it's saying. I know it's kind of difficult to read backwards. So we have those to grab one of my plastic bags again. Start out with placing the biggest transfer in first. These ones fit like almost perfect. And then I'm gonna grab my five entrepreneur transfers. Just slide those in the front here, maybe diagonal fits better that way. My packing slip, just make sure five and five. I always like to double check my quantities because I do mess up sometimes. So it's just an additional check to make sure that I did grab the right thing. 
And then I have my packing slippers in there so I'm gonna grab a sticker. Secure that like so. Grab one of my instruction stickers. Oops. Place that there. And again, my envelope. I got these from Uline. My bags as well. Somehow get that in there. And then a bag. Kind of change which direction I put this in every time. I don't know which way is better, but I don't think it really matters. And then I just double check and make sure that this is for Sierra. So I see it says Sierra on the tag. Place that right in the center. Grab my do not bend sticker. Kind of like putting that in the corner right there, a little slanted. I don't know why. Like I like the way it looks. And then my thank you for supporting my small business sticker. And there you go. That's for Sierra. I finally got all my screen print order transfers all packaged up. This actually took a really long time, but they are all finished. So these will be going to their new homes. In addition to all of these rulers, the camera's not even like, the screen isn't big enough to show you guys how many there is. So I'm just gonna walk around here. But I think this is like 130 rulers that are ready to go. I'm waiting for my mom to come so that she can help me take all of these to the post office. But yeah, for now, they're just stacked up in the doorway of my house. So I'm hoping to get these ready to go to their new homes very shortly here. If you guys are new here and don't know the backstory on what I'm selling and why there are so many packages, these are actually t-shirt rulers. So my small business is that I sell t-shirts, but I this recently actually branched into selling t-shirt rulers. So... Fun side story, these are actually made by my dad because he has a small business as well. So long story short, he made me a t-shirt ruler when I first started my business and I would post videos and TikToks showing this ruler, um, just me using it to make all my t-shirts and people were like, where the heck did you get that? Because the Amazon ones just were not cutting it. So actually this year we collaborated and he started making me t-shirt rulers for me to sell on my site. So that is what all of these boxes are. I will show you what those look like because they are so awesome if you make t-shirts and you're using the flimsy ones off of amazon i know i've never used them so i can't testify but i've heard that they melt and that's just no fun and they warp so they get all like weird shaped so i'm not a fan of that either so these are made with like a high quality thick acrylic i'll show you guys an up close look so you can see but yeah that's my um short story of what these boxes are if you guys are curious Here's an example of one of the rulers that my dad made. As you can see, it's a pretty thick acrylic, so under the heat press, it doesn't melt or warp. They have my logo on them and then all the measurements here so you can perfectly line up your design on your t-shirt. And it works out pretty much perfect every single time. There are so many packages. So when I have a bunch of packages like this ready to go out, before I take them out, I usually try to take a picture with them because I'm proud of all of this work. This is three days of packing, including my transfers that I have here too. So all of this accumulation of boxes, I just like to take pictures and video content for social media because it's the perfect opportunity. So I'm waiting for my mom to get here so she can help me take pictures I already filmed some videos, but I think I'm gonna set these up in my living room, kind of just spread them out and then be in the middle of them is what I usually do. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work unpacking these and then repacking them back in some box to put in my car. But luckily that is why my mom is coming to help me. Okay, I'm gonna start taking these all down and just putting them like wherever, I'm not really sure. There's so many of them. This is gonna suck, but it's gonna be a cool picture, I hope. I don't know how this is gonna work. Maybe I'll just start building a wall like this. I don't know how I feel about the background, but. them like more 
more organized or if it looks good just thrown around because it looks about this. Hopefully it turns out cute. I don't know if I like the disorganized look. I might have to stack them up. Mm. How do I feel about this? I'll just keep going for now. Ugh! I don't like it! How that looks! Okay, now we're going with stacked because this is like... This looks way prettier. But like, how do I stack them to look like cool? I don't know. I don't even, I can't even tell you like what I'm envisioning. It kind of looks like a Lincoln log. Um, there's like a weird gap right there. This is what I came up with. It looks a little bit better than just being thrown around, but I think I'm gonna sit in the middle right here and just have all these packages around me like this. It kind of looks like a little castle, so I'll show you how the pictures turn out. Packages are all loaded. My camera died while I was trying to film that, but it's literally completely filled to the brim. Front seat, back seat, and trunk. And then my mom's car. This is the first time I'd ever have to take two cars. So we have orders in the front seat, back seat, and then her trunk as well, but it's closed. So, yep, two cars this time.